After a successful postseason run in spring of 2021, this Jacksonville University men's soccer team enters the fall with a lot of experience and confidence. I think there's just a lot of confidence in the group right now, right? If we talk about confidence being a test of your past experiences and how they went, I think we've learned, we learned a lot from past experiences, good and bad. Um, and I think this group is a group that was really grateful for their experience last year, that learned a lot because it wasn't just because just we had a good end of the year you had a lot of trials and tribulations as well during it. We're leadership by committee, I'll say, within the team. Uh, sometimes we lack like a really strong voice within the locker room, but we have a lot of character in the locker room, and Connor probably being the highlight of that. Uh, and Connor is probably one of the most servant, selfless leaders that I've ever had the experience to coach. And when your captain is also your best person, he just bleeds character within the team. And I think that's what we're made out of right now, a team that has a lot of confidence in themselves, but a team that also has a lot of character Instead of a traditional preseason on campus, the team took a trip up the road to Jekyll Island. It's really more about getting to know each other. You know, guys do go away for three and a half months and they come back, they have some different interests, some different priorities. Uh, so that time was spent really purposefully to get to know each other, to kind of revisit relationships within the team, strengthen some of them, and then reintroduce introduce the players, the new players to the team. I think that's going to have exponential benefit as, as we go on in the season. Playing three exhibition games at home allowed for lots of insight on this new squad. I think it starts letting us know as coaches where we are, things that we need to work on. But we take those games as tests to see if we need to adapt something uh, tactically and kind of what the plan is. So we use those preseason games to, to really identify where we are today. So we really need to have a fast progression to what we're doing. So having three squeeze preseason games allows us to rotate guys a lot. And by, the, and by, by our last preseason game, Maybe we can see a team that's a little more consistent on the field, but also knowing what we saw from the younger players, which is really key. With so many players, new and old, contributing, the depth of this team will be a big factor this season. I think it's about chemistry, you know, which players on the field combine well together. And I do think that we have 14 to 16 starters. And um, if, if our guys are able to drop their pride, which is really, I know I'm asking for a big thing here, but if they're able to drop their pride at least put it aside for a little bit. Um, as many condensed games as we have, they're gonna get playing time. If they're ready, if they're prepared, if their attitude is right, they're gonna get playing time. So can we identify the right qualities for the right moment? Uh, and players understand that, that we're ultimately trying to put the best players on the field to win games.